Well, hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome back, Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we're gonna take a look at a Siansky light. About six months ago, I did a review of the Siansky K3, and this is one of the coolest flashlights that I've seen in quite some time. They are releasing a new version of the K3. This is version 2.0, so let's dive in and take a look. I'm very excited about this one. Okay, let's take a look. Right here on the package is some of the information. 2,000 lumens of maximum output, 700 meters of throw, 400 hours of maximum runtime on economy mode. That is 16 days of runtime. So again, here it says economy mode, white light, strobe mode, all metal design, compatible with gun mount accessories, and compatible with remote switch accessories very cool on the side of the package you can see some more specs 2000 lumens 400 hours 700 meters 124,609 candela that is absolutely fantastic bottom of the package doesn't show anything two meters of impact resistance and two meters of IPX8 waterproof standard. That is fantastic. This light includes a 21700 lithium ion rechargeable battery. Got a USB C on it, 5000 milliamp hour of capacity on that battery. And as you can see, there's certifications that this light passes. Now, on the back of the package, there are some technical parameters, so feel free to pause your screen. If you want to hang on to any of that information, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and move forward on this. There is some contact information for Siansky. I'm just really excited. So let's go ahead and open this package and see what's included with this new version 2.0. We're going to pull this out just like a drawer here. Now right off the bat, we do have a warranty card right here. Let's take a look at that in English so you can fill this out and send it in and uh, get your warranty going. Right here is an owner's manual for the Siansky K3 version 2.0. And it looks like it has Chinese, but we'll flip it over and there is some English there. So there's a little bit of information there. Again, feel free to use the pause button if you want to hang on to this information. I'm going to move fairly quickly because all of this stuff I'm going to be talking about in this video here today. So there's some stuff there, certifications, operating instructions, right there. We'll stay there for just a second. And let's get on over to the memory function, battery level indicator, all that good stuff, low voltage warnings. And there's a little bit of warranty information, in case there's anything that you need to read there. And right there. And of course, once again, Siansky contact information. There is a lanyard here. Let's open this up and take a quick look. I want to see if they changed anything. Um, so it looks like two O-rings. These are going to replace the tail cap switch O-rings. There's also a rubber tail cap switch replacement cover. So very cool that they include that, as well as a nice little lanyard. Looks like the lanyard got a little bit nicer uh, than the, the previous version of flashlight that I reviewed. I like what they've done here. They put the plastic on, they got rid of the leather and they put the plastic on so I think that's a good improvement on that lanyard so very cool that they include these accessories with this light the next thing that we see is the charging cable so you have USB A to USB C charging cable included with the light so this is going to be used to charge the USB C port on the battery itself and we also see there is a holster and this looks very similar to the previous holster that I reviewed in the last video of the original K3. And the holster was very basic, but yet very functional, and it did a good job protecting the light. Simple Velcro enclosure, nothing too fancy about that holster, but it's just enough to get the job done and protect that light, and that's what it's designed to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at the light. 
as you can see everything was packaged very well there's this little tag right here and this tag says uh, take out the insulation film and charge the flashlight so we'll just take that off and let's take a quick first look at the Siansky K3 version 2 so you can see right off the bat there's a power level indicator in the center of the switch on the previous version they did not have that see okay right there you can see those three round little dots in there those are the zirconium inserts for the strike bezel those are there so you can break glass and things like that looking inside of this glass lens which is very thick by the way you can see an aluminum reflector that's a smooth reflector that's not a plastic reflector in there that's aluminum so the build quality on this light is absolutely fantastic you can see the pocket clip there and again the stainless steel button the tail cap switch in the button and this thing will tail stand so it's very nice let's go ahead and take off the tail cap switch here real quick I'm gonna look at a couple things we're gonna look at the build quality of the tail cap switch itself and as you can see it looks like that's a very good quality build set that aside we will take out the insulation film and let's get a first look at the 21700 lithium ion rechargeable battery this is a non proprietary battery there's the positive end and there's the USB-C charging port so when you plug in the USB-C this little indicator will turn red and then when charging is complete it'll turn green 5000 milliamp hour of capacity there's the negative side of the battery and that's very nice that that's included so we're gonna take a look inside you can see that they went from a solid contact point to a spring contact point so I think that's a very big plus that they did that I like that because in the event that you drop the light it's given the battery a little bit of room to float on both ends so let's flip this battery tube around because I want to see if we can change the orientation of the pocket clip maybe you're working uh, and you want to mount this to a hard hat or something so it would be nice to be able to change that orientation so it looks like that it's possible to do that let's go ahead and insert the battery we'll start with the positive towards the head of the light and we will now put on the tail cap switch now as you can see when you come over those threads you got the o-rings right there on both ends so when you tighten things down it goes over that o-ring and when that creates that IPX8 waterproof standard down to two meters that's pretty impressive so as you can see it appears that the battery tube can be reversed and as a result you can change the orientation of that pocket clip and the pocket clip has good retention it's, it's very nice the way they've installed that on there operating this light is extremely simple you have the side switch and you have the tail cap switch now the tail cap switch can be used in momentary so you just kinda half press or if you want to turn the light on you just click it and turn the light on now to cycle through the modes you'll push the side switch so there's low there's medium there's high there's turbo and then it'll go back to low it'll just go through the cycle now if you want to access the strobe function you can push and hold the side switch and it'll go into that strobe single press will turn the light back off to the last mode accessed prior to strobe so whatever you were on before strobe low medium high or turbo when you single press after using the strobe it'll go back to that setting now there's a hidden economy mode so if I push the button and then turn on the tail cap you'll see that we enter the super low mode so it's extremely easy to operate this light the cool thing about this too is it will remember economy low medium high or even turbo so the memory on this light is very good it will remember everything except for strobe so low we're looking at 30 lumens for 66 hours of runtime that's 2.75 days you get 42 meters of throw and 441 on the candela push the button you go up to medium 150 lumens for 16 hours that's a good day's work right there 200 meters of throw 9802 candela that's a good setting on that medium high is 450 lumens for four and a half hours 336 meters of throw 
28,561 candela. And then you push it one more time, you get to turbo. This is 2,000 lumens for two hours. 700 meters of throw, and again, 124,609 candela. Now, if you push and hold the side switch, you're going to get that strobe warning. This is a 2,000 lumen strobe. It's going to operate for a little over four hours. That's a very disorienting strobe. I think it's going to work absolutely fantastic. Now, when you single press the button, it'll come back to turbo because remember, it'll remember everything with the exception of the strobe. So low, medium, high, and turbo, it'll remember that. So very, very cool. Let's turn the light off. Now if we push the side switch and then we turn the light on, we will get to the economy mode. This is two lumens and this will last 400 hours of runtime. One meter of throw, that's 16 days of runtime. And this is a quarter of a candela. Now let's take a look at the dimensions of the light. We're dealing with 1.57 inches at the head diameter. The body of the light is one inch and the length of the light is 6.05 inches. If you want to talk about millimeters, we're 40 millimeters at the head, 25.4 millimeters at the body, and 153.6 millimeters is the length of the light. This light weighs 4.66 ounces or 132.2 grams and that weight is without the battery. Now the operating uh, temperature that this light can work at is minus 30 centigrade all the way up to 50 degrees centigrade. If you want to talk about Fahrenheit, it's minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. That is absolutely fantastic. I live in, in Arizona, so sometimes the temperatures get a little bit warm here. So we know that this light is going to perform without any problems. It's well within that spectrum of working temperatures. This light has a luminous SFT40 LED. And another thing that's really cool about this light is it will also support an 18650 battery you can also use dual CR123s, dual RCR123s, or dual 16340s. So that is fantastic, the batteries that you can use in this light. Now there's one more thing I want to talk about, and that is when we turn this light on, you will see the power level indicator right there. You see it's flashing green right now. If it's solid green, it's between 76 and 100 percent. If you are flashing green like what we're seeing, your battery life is between 51 and 75 percent. If that indicator turns red, we're between 26 and 50 percent. And if you see flashing red, it's time to charge, we're between zero and 25 percent of our battery. So again, that indicator only stays on for a couple of seconds. So you can see that right there. So very, very cool. I like what they've done with this light. I like that it tail stands. I love that strike bezel with those zirconium beads. The lens itself, the reflector is aluminum. And you got that nice hard glass that is very thick and hard to break. I think Siansky did a good job with this light. Now the current price point at the time of me filming this video for this light is around 100 bucks. All right, let's take a look and test the IPX8 waterproofness. We'll just drop that light down in the water. As you can see, we're definitely underwater. We're going to go ahead and push the mode switch while we're underwater and we'll test that IPX8. There we go. We're going to cycle through the modes. That is bright. Now, there's low, medium, high, and turbo. Now, I'm going to give you guys a strobe warning here. This is going to be very disorienting. Wow, that is crazy. I'm gonna, that's enough of that. Push that down again. Let's go down to low. We'll turn the light off and we will go into economy. So, wow, that works pretty good. And as you can see, this light clearly passes the IPX8 waterproof testing with flying colors. I'm really liking these Siansky lights. 
their quality. Okay, right now we are on the economy setting. This is two lumens. Again, this is 400 hours of runtime. That's 16 days. That is fantastic. That's a lot of light. You got a nice tight hot spot there. You can see things. Gives you one meter of throw. If I push the button, we're going to come up to low. Low is pretty impressive too. 30 lumens for 66 hours. That's almost three days. That's 2.75 days of runtime. And then if I push the button again, we'll come up to medium. 150 lumens. I think this is probably my favorite setting on this light. This will give you 16 hours of runtime and 200 meters of throw. That's a lot of light. Now we bump it up to high. That's 450 lumens for four and a half hours, 336 meters of throw. And then push it again. We're going to get that turbo of 2,000 lumens, two hours of runtime, 700 meters of throw. Now this light will step down after about 90 seconds. Now if I push and hold, we're going to get into that strobe. This is 2,000 lumens of strobe and it's going to run for a little over four hours. It's very disoriented, easy to access the strobe. Single press will bring us back to turbo and then again we can cycle through the modes. There's low, medium, high, turbo. Again, to get to the economy, I'm going to turn the light off, hold the side switch, and turn the light back on. That's how we get back to that two lumen economy mode. 16 days. That's fantastic. So hopefully you enjoyed those night shots out of the Siansky K3 version 2. Well folks, my final thoughts on these Siansky lights. The K3 was absolutely fantastic. But in this video today, the K3 version 2, they've taken a really good light and made it even better. I love the fact that they added the power level indicator so we can see in real time the status of the battery. I also absolutely love how they added the economy mode so you get long run times and you get that really light beam but it's very effective as you can see in those night shots. The price point didn't go up as much as would have been expected so you get all these extra features for a little bit more money not much it's like ten dollars difference plus they bumped up the lumen levels and the distance of throw i think this is a fantastic light please make sure that you're checking the description box down below i'll put a link to where you can find this k3 version 2 and even if you get the the original it's also fantastic so i hope you enjoyed this video please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video share this video and until next time thanks for watching we'll see you guys on the next one bye for now